Hello and welcome to a quick micro lesson on how to make the camera shake in Unreal Engine. So this is what we are going to end up with. Um, upon pressing the X key, you can see that the camera wobbles like this. Okay, in order to do this, I need to create a camera shake blueprint class and I need to uh, trigger that from the X key on the character pool. So, in order to create the camera shake class, you want to right hand click on the content panel, go to blueprint classes, left click on the blueprint class, and search within the all classes section, and go for camera shake. Now, you're looking for the matinee camera shake. This has changed in 2.4.26. The pr previous versions, you'll just want to use the camera shake. Um, once you've created that, you'll be a, you'll once you've selected that and created it, you'll get a camera shake actor. If you pull it up within the class defaults, you have um, a number of different settings. So if you can't see that, select class defaults in the top corner here, and this offers you. Uh, this will, if you change this, this will change how the camera shakes itself. So you've got the amount of time, the, the time settings, so how long it goes on for, um, what the blend in and blend out is. You also can change the rotation, location and field of view. So you can change the oscillation on any of these. I've just changed the rotation in this instance. I've gone for uh, amplitude of 1 and a frequency of 10. So that are my settings. You can check, play around with these to make it uh, feel like a different a different shake. Now on the player character, so I've selected the player character and pressed edit blueprints, open blueprint editor. I've created a short piece of code here and all this does is uh, when I press the key at the X key, it will play the world camera shake. I've selected the class I made here from the drop down box. I've set a radius and an outer radius. I've also made the epicenter where the follow camera is. So, that um, in order to do that, I've grabbed the component from the components list, got its world location, and plugged it into the epicenter. So that is all you need to do.